and welcome. This video is part of a series where I use relatively famous and recognizable cartoon characters to show you how you can learn to see components, break things down, build them back up for yourself, and train yourself in hand-eye coordination so that you can become an adult beginner cartoonist. My name is Alison Beer from alisonbeer.com, and if you're an adult beginner, you're so welcome. So today we are working with this little South Park character. We've done another South Park character in the past, and you can find that one if you look for it on YouTube or my website. But we are looking at first at largest relative components. We're looking at using very sketchy rough circles, um, filling in the big components first, looking for anchor points which help us to position those components really accurately, and then coming back, filling in the little details after. So you might look at this and think, well, how do we use circles in something which is not that circly? And of course, you want to do a little bit of tracing first. So we'll trace first and we'll imagine his head is a big round circle underneath that hat. We're not worried about things drawing through things. Overlapping is your friend when it comes to drawing fast and instinctively. So we have his head. That's the biggest component that I see. And then I'm going to go in and put in this rectangle and an even bigger rectangle on top of his head and these two ovals hanging down the side. Then I see his body like this and I'll put in his hands which line up with the bottom of his body for me. I can then join up and make this line which creates the arms for me and we've got his trousers and legs at the bottom then it's time to go back and do his eyes, and I'm quite happy with them overlapping into his cap. We've got his little mouth there, eyeballs, and final thing will be these pockets. Line down the middle for his zipper, and of course these black lines at the bottom, which show us his feet. So once we've traced that, we can go in and start recreating it ourselves, looking at the same components. So first up, we want that big face circle. And then we'll go and say, okay, let's fill in this part of his cap. And then a bigger rectangle on top of that. And then we've got these little hangy down flaps on each side over his ears, ear flaps. And now I can go in and, and draw his body. So I want to see where his body joins in like that, taking it down like this. Um, a hand at each side with the bottom of the hand in line with the bottom of his jacket. Then we've got this area at the bottom, which is his trousers. And what's up next? We need his eyes. So his eyes are interesting, these big ovals at slight angles to each other, kind of like two leaning eggs. And we've got the dots of his eyes in the middle like that. Rather sad looking mouth, not sure why he's so miserable. And then we want to put in his zipper down the, the middle. We've got a pocket on each side of his zipper. Very symmetrical fellow this. And then we can fill in these little lines to denote his feet. And that's pretty much him. So you might say, well, that's not perfect. We're not aiming to get a perfect finished product. What we're looking at is components so that we can train our eye to work faster. And of course, there are more steps in the cartooning process to finish this off, but that gives us a reasonable approximation. And this is how we train hand-eye coordination so that we can copy anything and use it as a reference to start building our own cartoon characters in the future. Did you like this video? If you did, please give it a thumbs up here on YouTube and subscribe to my channel and head on over to my website alisonbeer.com and sign up there for newsletter updates. Keep cartooning and I'll see you next time.